Well, today will be the first official step in the proposed redevelopment of the Ashley Landing Shopping Center. Charleston City leaders, they're going to meet this morning to discuss the request to move the Publix on Sam Rittenberg in West Ashley and replace it with a multifamily housing complex. Our Molly McBride joins us live now from Ashley Landing with details about the developer's proposal. Good morning, Molly. Good morning. Although in its very early stages, city officials tell me the plan includes demolishing the Publix you see behind me, rebuilding it across the parking lot, and then building multifamily housing in its place. City officials tell me the proposed redevelopment is still in its pre-application stage. This morning, developers will present their plans, and then the technical review committee will give initial comments back to developers about things like code requirements, stormwater calculations, and infrastructure. If you look on social media or talk to people in the area, some people appear to be concerned about a housing complex going in on the site. I spoke to one woman who tells me she's concerned about overdevelopment in the area. I think it's horrible. Um the parking will be a major issue. Apartments, I, I just can't see it. I also spoke to Robert Summerfield, the city of Charleston's director of planning, preservation, and sustainability, who tells me there's not public discussion at today's meeting. He says once the proposal goes to Charleston's design review board, there will be an opportunity for the public to comment on the design of the building, but the proposed developer is the property owner and they already have zoning in place. The design has to be consistent. They have to meet the various code requirements. So there, you know, there's still, I think, some opportunity for um, a refinement maybe in the idea that's been put forth. But no, under current zoning, they have the right to be able to have a commercial center, to have some residential component, um, to relocate things on their property. Summerfield says the redevelopment will likely happen in stages and will take multiple years to complete. Reporting live in West Ashley, Molly McBride, Live 5 News.